couple of weeks ago, I was walking down this street near my home when I caught an amazing smell. About two houses down, this lady was setting a pie out on the windowsill. I couldn't believe it. People actually do this in real life? They actually leave pies out to cool? I had to have it. I thought, I've seen this go down in old time movies. The lady leaves the pie out. They cut to a guy walking down the street, me. The lady will look around and scratch her head in confusion. Now where could I have left my pie? Why not? What's more American than taking a fresh baked pie from some lady's windowsill? I walked right up and grabbed it, which I found out immediately was a huge mistake. If you've ever been in the kitchen at a restaurant and watched the cooks, they're able to pick up anything with their bare leather hands. Maybe it's just years of handling hot dishes, and you may be like, well, if they can do it, I can do it too. Then you grab a plate and it's really hot and you drop it immediately. You think you can will your body to ignore the pain, to just muscle through it, but there's always a point where your hand just lets go automatically. I took off my shirt to use as a kind of pot holder and picked up the pie. Hey, what are you doing? Give me that pie. I freaked out and ran. I ran like three blocks, still no shirt on, holding this pie in my hands. I finally got a good look at the pie. How would I go about trying to eat this thing? I didn't have any utensils, nothing. And like I said already, it was still really, really hot. Then I started to feel bad, like really bad, overwhelmingly guilty. What had I just done, really? And my impulse to replicate a snippet of Americana that I'm not even sure if I was remembering correctly, I'd gone ahead and probably ruined this poor lady's day. I'm no novice. I know what it takes to make a fresh pie from scratch. Just getting the crust right is a pretty significant challenge. Chilling the butter, working with it fast enough so that you can form a decent crust without the whole thing melting apart. It's doable, you know, like anything you get better with practice. I looked at this pie. It had that rustic appeal. Maybe this lady was seriously depressed and she'd picked up pie baking as a new hobby, something to keep her mind off the debilitating numbness crippling her everyday life. And maybe all of her pies had been unsuccessful until this one. Maybe this was her first really triumphant pie. And as she set that first really good pie on the windowsill, she thought, maybe life isn't so bad after all. Maybe things will get better. Then, just as she turned around, I came up and took it. I fumbled it. I ran. I was feeling bad for a while, sitting there in the park, the breeze against my bare chest, sad. But then I thought, wait a second. Why was she leaving this pie unattended? Why didn't she have any screens for her window? Who leaves food right by an open window? That's an invitation for bugs, rodents, cats, even raccoons. No, I did her an indirect favor. She wouldn't make that mistake again. Also, there would be much less likely a chance of an infestation now that- That's him, officer! And that's my pie! Hey, pie boy! I panicked. I went to pick up the pie to hand it back to her, to say that I'm sorry. That was a crazy thing that I did, that I was just about to bring it back. I couldn't think of anything to say, so I just ran. And I'm a really good runner, very fast lots of endurance. I just took off, zigzagging through random streets, careful not to lead them back to my house. And I did it. I lost them.
bit of love song, really rather neat, calling this a bob song, my sweeter the sweet. I could rack my brain now, as our glances meet, just a line remains now, my sweeter the sweet.